Good morning students. Welcome to the part 2 of this OBU's Oxford Brookes University's BSc in Applied Accounting program. This is the part 2 of this video. If you have not watched the part 1, please do so first and then come back to this video. In this video, I am going to talk about the topics which students have to select uh, when, they want to, when they want to go for their OBU program. Then we will talk about where you can submit and when you can submit and we will also talk about the role of the mentor in this whole program. So first of all, let's talk about the topics. Okay, remember these topics are given to you by Oxford Brookes University and not by ACC itself. So when you are deciding a topic there are few things you need to make sure that you know. The first thing is of course the availability of information. This is the most crucial thing every student should know. Many students pick a topic and then later on they realize that they cannot get enough information related to that topic and then they waste too much time. So make sure before you decide the topic you gather enough information which can help you to start working on that topic. Of course the second thing is the size of the company. You should take a listed company. It's recommended because you can get information about a listed company easier than a private owned company. So that's why you should take a sizable company for which you can get enough information. If you are taking topic number eight, then of course you are you have to pick company from a specific industry, which is uh, selected by Oxford Brookes University every year now. And you need to of course get a like by like competitor as well. So if you are working on topic number eight, then you should take two companies from the same of course same industry and you should make sure that they are alike competitors of each other of course the competition in the industry should be taking for as well of course your interest is very important if you are working in a particular industry or if you if you want to work in a particular industry and if you want to take that interest into this uh, program then of course that will be very helpful for you because it will give you good learning on one hand and on the second hand you will uh, like your work as well and of course, the last and the most important thing is time available for research and information gathering. The more time you have, the more early you start preparing for the degree, the more better, de the more better report you can make. So these are few of the things which you should consider before you decide your topic. Now let's go to the topics. There are 20 topics and I will discuss about all of them uh, one by one and it will help you to understand the topic and of course it will help you when you are going to select the topic as well. So topic one is of course an organization's budgetary control system and its link with performance management and decision making. So this topic is all about the cost accounting, about the management accounting, how an organization's budget helps them to improve their performance. So if you are someone who is working in, in an organization in management accounting and someone who has uh, access to the information related to this topic, so this is a very good topic for those students. Topic two is about how the introduction of a new technology can assist an organization in achieving its business objectives. Remember, it's not only about the information technology, it can be any technology. For example, a company may shift from a manual working to a, to a, a mechanic working or from mechanic working, they may shift to robotics. So this will be helpful for any technology. Topic three is about the impact of an aspect of impending legislation on the operations and financial position of an organization. So if you are if you're someone who likes to work with legislations with legal aspects, then this is a topic for you. Topic four is about a review of the business management and accounting issues of environmental cost of an organization. So this is an in thing, environment is an in thing. So make sure that uh, if, you, if, you, if you are someone who care about the environment, if you're working in a company who spends a lot of money to, uh, to save the environmental losses, then of course, this is a topic you can select. Topic five is an evaluation of the use of short-term and long-term Islamic financial instruments and their impact on the financial statement of an organization. So it is a very, very important aspect right now in these days. Islamic finance is a new thing for many parts of the world. So make sure as a student, if you are interested in Islamic finances or if you have prior knowledge of it, then of course you can use that prior knowledge and you can work very well on this topic. Topic six is one of the favorites of many students is the key factors uh, on 
indicators in the motivation of employees in an organization. So if you are working in an organization and if you are motivated and if you see people around you who are motivated, although it's very difficult, but even if you, are, if you can get them, then you can work on it. You just need to pass a survey out, a survey and you need to ask some questions to the employees why they are motivated, what motivates them and what are the things the organization does to motivate the employees. So these are a few of the things if you are interested in it then of course topic 6 can be a good topic for you. Topic 7 is the restructuring of an organization's operational activities and the effect of the organization's financial performance. So that's a very good topic for someone who wants to become a CEO of a company or who likes the restructuring or who likes to take decision makings. So you can take a company who has done this, who has done this restructuring and then you can give your comment in the analysis that how it worked for them or what went wrong or what went right or was it successful or not. So these are the few things you can do in this topic. Topic 8, I think the most famous topic among ACC students, the business and financial performance of an organization over a three years period of course and I don't need to talk about it a lot because that's the most famous topic and this most easy to understand topic and I think it's quite natural because in ACCA students actually work around the financial analysis and the financial statements and other financial aspects of an organization. So it's quite natural that majority of the students uh, pick this topic. And I want to add one more thing here that there is nothing like that if you pick topic 8 your chances of getting pass are low because it, there is nothing uh, like this exists. So even if you are taking topic number eight, you have the same chance of passing as if you are as if you are taking any of the topics. Topic nine: the planning and implementation of an information system in an organization. I know accountants are not very good with uh, with information systems, but if you are someone happen to work in a company and if you have dealt with this situation, then of course uh, you can write a good report uh, on it. Topic 10, the effectiveness of the use of costing techniques within organization. Again, if you are working because uh, for costing techniques and for costing information, you need some in inside information. So again, uh, you may need to be uh, someone who is working in the organization to get enough information or to get all the precise information to write a good report on this topic. Topic 11, the financial and operational costs and benefits of the internal audit or internal review activities within an organization. So many of you are working as an internal auditor and you are aware of all these things. You are aware of the benefits of internal audit. You must be aware that when, you're, when your organization is spending some money on internal audit or internal review, what are the benefits they are getting. So if you are one of those, you can select this topic and it will help you to write a good report on topic number 11. Topic 12, the relationship between organization's human resource activities and its business objectives. Again, it's a general topic and if you are someone who likes HR or who wants to make human resources as their career path in future, then of course you should consider this topic. Uh, topic 13 is the possible effects of a proposed accounting standard on the financial statements and business activities of an organization. That is another topic for example, there are, nowadays there are many virtual companies that are springing up, there are many games manufacturers and there are many apps uh, uh, applying, uh, apps manufacturing companies. So for them, these, like for, the, for them some of the changes in the accounting standards may create a huge impact on their financial statements or on the business activities of the organization. So make sure that if you want to work on it and it's a good topic to research as well for every accountant. So if you are someone who wants to research the impact of the change of these financial accounting uh, changes or accounting standards, then of course it's a good topic for you. Topic 14 is about the management of an organization's working capital over a three years period and its impact on the organization's funding strategies. Again, if you are someone who wants to work in the finance department of the company or in the treasury department of the company, then of course it's a good choice for you. Topic 15 is about the business and financial objectives of a strategic investment decision made by an organization and its impact on key stakeholders. Again, it looks like a general topic, but it is not. It is very, very interesting because every business in the world makes these type of decision uh, quite often. So you, if, you are, if you happen to work uh, in a company who have just done it or who, who, who is going to do this, 
then of course you can use this information to write the report. Topic 16 is the financial and operational risk management within an organization. Of course, it's all about risk management, it's all about accountants, it's all about management accounting. Again, if you want to work uh, with the risk management in future in your career, then of course, this is something you can take. Okay, the quality of the corporate governance within an organization and the impact on organization's key stakeholders. Well, that's a bit boring, of course, uh, but it is. Uh, it, some, there are some people who like corporate governance issues and who likes to work in, in, in this field uh, in the future. So for them, it's a very good topic again. Topic 18, the second, I think, most uh, famous after topic 8, the marketing strategy of an organization and its effectiveness. So if you are someone who, who did very well in P3, if you have passed P3 very well, uh, and if you know seven P's and other marketing strategies, six I's and, 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 and other marketing strategies very well, and you think that you can evaluate the marketing strategy of a company and you can come up with a conclusion that is it working for them or is it not working for them then of course it's a very very good topic for you and it's very interesting as well topic 19 is the financial and operational consequences of a merger between two organizations or of the acquisition of one organizations by another now in this topic of course you need to look at the how good or how bad was that strategic decision of, of merger or acquisition. So you need to compare before merger and post merger uh, operations and performance of, of a company to comment on how it went, did it, did it go well or it didn't go well. And in the end, the topic 20 is an organization's CSR, corporate social responsibility policies, including business ethics and the impact of business practices and key stakeholders so that is another topic of course csr is a very in thing right now every company wants to spend a lot of money on csr and one thing which they like to do is are we making quite good investment on csr or not if, are, if these companies are spending money they like to see are they spending money on right causes or is it helping them back somehow so this is what you need to analyze in topic number 20. So that's how each topic has its own merits, has its own requirements. So you need to make sure that when you shortlist few topics, you understand the topics very well. And of course, you should consider the things which I discussed before I started discussion of the topic. Now, after the topics, let's talk about uh, the meeting with the mentor, how you meet with the mentors and what happens. So in the first meeting, we are going to discuss the topic, we are going to discuss the organization, we are going to discuss everything, the, the introductions of everything. I'm going to discuss with my students, okay, that how, what, what things they should consider when they are going for a particular information or what things they should consider when they are going for a company. Then in the second meeting, of course, you will be midway through your report, you will be done with your introduction and information gathering and some of the analysis as well. Meeting three will be all about finalization, but remember three meetings are the minimum required. You can have more meetings if you need. So meetings are very comprehensive, are very detailed, and of course it will, they are very helpful for the students uh, for their working. So what I simply do is I, did, I did divide the report into small deliverables, into small assignments. So you work on first assignment, and once you give it to me, then we discuss the second assignment, and then we discuss the third assignment, and it, this thing goes on and on unless you finish your report so that's how i will be uh, doing business with you i will be mentoring you something about me that's my introduction i'm nisi say i'm an mba uh, i am been mentoring uh, obu students uh, for this program for last eight years and i am a lecturer of acc program of acc papers f8 p1 p3 p5 and p7 Okay, I am a writer on business issues on, on, on many newspapers and journals and of course I have 10 years of corporate and lecturing experience. So this was uh, something about me because few students are curious about uh, more information about the mentor. So that is in front of you here. So what is the role of the project? How, um, what is the role of the mentor? How the mentor helps you? As I discussed earlier, the project role, the, the mentor's role in the process is varied and consists of the following aspects. First, to support and advise your 
throughout the process, you throughout the process uh, to support the students when which topic to decide, which companies to decide, and how to do the, uh, the research and how to make sure that they can bring that research into the report. So the, this is the first role of the mentor. Of course, the second role of, is that mentoring your progress during the project. And to tell you that are you on the right track or not, and to make sure that you are utilizing your time in the most optimum manner. Then of course, the mentor, I'll only, as a mentor, I will also verify your progress, your output, your submission as well, of course. And of course, I will, conf I will confirm that you have worked uh, according to the guidelines given by the Oxford Brooks University. Now let's talk about once you submit your project, then of course, what happens, okay? Uh, so your rep will be awarded one of four grades. It can be A, B, C, or it can be fail, unfortunately, as well. And your SLS can be awarded two uh, grades. It can be either satisfactory or unsatisfactory. So there are many rules. For example, if you pass your rep and if you don't pass your SLS, then you need to send your SLS again next time. But uh, if, you if you fail your rep, then you will fail your SLS automatically. So these are, there are a few rules you need to make sure and here I will mention that Oxford Brooks uh, publishes the information pack every year. So I will recommend every student that when you are planning to go for this degree, you should read that information pack very well because this will be, that's how you will be able to answer a lot of your queries. Submission, yes, there are two submission periods. You can submit in May and you can submit in November every year. You need to go to obusubmissions.co.uk and of course you need to register yourself as a student and then of course you can submit uh, your project like you attach, your pro attach to emails but that is a process, the, the last process. So you should send your complete rep, SLS and uh, presentation to uh, obusubmissions.co.uk. Now in the end, I know uh, this video does not cover many aspects of the Oxford Brooks University's program. So if you have any query, if you have any question, you can feel free to contact me. My contact details will be in front of you. Okay, you got my email ID here, you, get the, you got my WhatsApp number as well, and you got my Facebook ID as well. So you can use any of these mediums to contact me and make sure that if you if you know someone uh, someone of your students who wants to do OBU, then of course you can forward these video to those students as well. Thank you for watching. And as I said earlier, if you have any query, if you have any problem, you can always feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.